Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a basic equation with complex numbers. I would call this a basic equation because it's not that hard and by the way I made three different playlists. Please let me know if any of these videos do not fit into categories because I think the only time that I marked one video as hard was probably uh, from I think yesterday anyways take a look and let me know what you think so we have 3z plus z bar equals 16 plus 2i z bar it basically represents the complex conjugate of z where it's defined as the unique number when multiply by z and add it to z it gives you a real number in other words never mind we're going to talk about it in a little bit but let's go ahead and do this in two ways and first i want to talk about the first method well, we haven't started with the second method for a while, but I think for this problem, I would like to start with the first method, okay? So allow me to start with the first. And my first method is going to be the following. We have 3z plus z bar, and that's equal to this. Let me rewrite the equation, and because I'm going to show you something, I need to rewrite it. Now, we're going to go ahead and conjugate both sides, okay? That, does that make sense? So in other words, if two complex numbers like z1 and z2 are equal, then their conjugates are also equal. So in other words, you can conjugate both sides. So when you conjugate both sides, put a big bar on both sides, then you do get the following. First of all, the conjugate of a sum, what is it? It's the sum of the two conjugates. So sum, you can actually distribute to conjugates or whatever that's called. Uh, or if you have a product, you can conjugate each factor in the product, but the conjugate of a real number is itself, right? By the way, we didn't define the conjugate, did we? If z is equal to a plus bi, I kind of did, but I didn't really write it. z bar would be a minus bi. Make sense? You just change the imaginary parts. That's it. So the imaginary part of 3 is 0 because there is no i, so it'll stay as is. So when you conjugate this equation, it's going to be like 3z bar plus z equals. The conjugate of 16 plus 2i is 16 minus 2i. Great. Along with our original equation, that we just conjugated, this gives us a system. Make sense? So we can go ahead and try to solve the system, but how? I would say substitution or elimination. Which one do you like better? Doesn't matter, no big deal. Uh, but let's go ahead and use substitution because I think we used elimination before. So this is the first equation, this is the second equation. From the second one, let's isolate z bar, write it as 16 plus 2i minus 3z, and then plug it into the first one. What is the first one? 3 times z bar. I'm going to replace z bar with 16 plus 2i minus 3z. And then plus z, remember I'm working on the first equation now, equals 16 minus 2i. By the way, the second equation, I'm sorry, the first equation is the one that I changed. The second equation is the original. I know they're kind of switched around, but hopefully you get the idea. Now, this equation can be called the third equation, which is nice. You know why? because it actually only contains z as a variable. Beautiful, right? If you look at the original problem, we, have, we seemingly have two variables, not really, but let's just pretend z and z bar, because they're not the same, right? So here we have a single variable, which is nice. And we were trying to solve for z, that's why I didn't want to sub z into the equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and distribute this and simplify. 48 plus 6i and then minus 9z plus z equals 16 minus 2i and then I can simplify this how I could probably just uh, not much right these two is going to give me a negative 8z so I could probably put negative 8z on the right hand side that's going to give me 8z now it becomes left hand side okay that's kind of confusing let's go ahead and do it this way Let's bring these over uh, to the left and send the z's on the left, right. So if you subtract 16 uh, from 48, you're going to get 32. 6i plus 2i is going to be 8i. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to have 8z, positive 8z, because it's going to be switched. Okay? So far, so good? Pretty good, right? Now we can go ahead and divide both sides by 8, and that should give us z. Easy, right? Easy. And from here, z is going to be 4 plus i. Guess how we came up with this problem? You probably know, right? 
But anyways, this is how we can come up with problems. First of all, start with the solution. I want the solution to be z equals 4 plus i. And then what kind of equation I want to have? Make up some equation that combines or mixes z and z bar. In this case, I made this one. And then evaluate this because you know z, you know z bar, right? If z is that, z bar is going to be 4 minus i. Plug them in and boom. You're going to get 16 plus 2i, which is what I gave you in the equation. You see what I'm saying? This is kind of how you can s come up with a problem if you want to come up with problems because that's fun. I think, I don't know, I've always uh, found it so much fun to come up with problems. That's why I have this channel, actually. And of course, um, I'm sharing some ideas and learning a lot from you guys, too. Anyways, I don't know. I, I know I'm talking too much, but I just wanted to say these things. So we got Z. We're good. We can go home. No, because we still have to do the second method. And guess what? The second method is going to be fun. Okay, let me know what you think. But uh, if you like the second method better or first method, doesn't matter. It's your choice. But please let me know what you think. And if you include a little bit of reasoning, that would be awesome too. By the way, I really like the interactions on my channel. You guys are awesome. Okay, keep up the good work. So here's my equation. And now, what am I going to do with the second method? I need to do something different, right? So when I first came up with this problem, I actually came up with the second method first. I have to admit, right? So that should be the first method. This time, I kind of switched them around because usually the second method is a little shorter, right? It's kind of more, um, I don't know, elegant maybe? But again, that's my opinion. Uh, you'll get to decide. So let's get back to work. Okay, I digress. So we have z and z bar together. Anytime you have z and z bar, or sometimes you'll have z, z bar, and absolute value of z, or a combination of these, right? Replace z with a plus pi. You know why? Two reasons. Because this is going to help you solve the problem, but the main reason is not that. The main reason is the name of this channel is a plus pi. Don't forget that, okay? All right. Great, let's continue. Now, if z is equal to a plus bi, obviously z bar is going to be a minus bi. Again, change the imaginary part or negate. You're good, the real part doesn't change. Now we're going to plug these in. Awesome, right? 3 times z, 3 times a plus bi, plus z bar, which is a minus bi, equals 16 plus 2i. See how nice this is? 3a, and then there's an a, which is 4a. 3bi minus pi is going to be 2bi, 2b or not to be, yay, I could make this joke, it wasn't planned, trust me. And now 4a is 16 and 2b is 2, so a is 4, b is 1, which means z is a plus bi. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Actually, I'm going to have another video that's coming up in about two hours i would say probably i don't know check it out but it's going to be pretty interesting i'm not sure how to mark that video you let me know but i think it's a medium level problem i don't think it's hard but it's going to be pretty interesting anyway see you for the next video until then be safe take care and bye bye